down to the woods today in uh, Cardross in Scotland. You're in for an illuminating surprise as Carrie has been to find out. This was a training college for Catholic priests and to many it's considered to be a masterpiece of modern architecture. St Peter's Seminary was a complete break from the past when it opened just west of Glasgow in 1966. Its brutalist design was the work of two young architects, Izzy Metstein and Andy McMillan, and would win many awards. But the training school opened at a time when the number of people entering the priesthood was in decline. By the 1980s, St Peter's Seminary was no longer inhabited and this monument to modernity very quickly fell into disrepair. But during Scotland's year of innovation, architecture and design, Angus Farquhar has come up with a plan to breathe new life into the building. Angus, what drew you to this place? St Peter's is uh, a bit of a legend. It's almost been more famous as a ruin than as a working building. Some people would look at the outside and think, oh, it's just brutalist, it's very, very rough. But when you get inside, everything floats. So if you look, there's columns everywhere and it feels as if there's a lightness in the building. If you look at it in half, it goes up what's called a ziggurat. It's exactly the same dimensions as a pyramid. Angus has secured around £7 million to transform part of the building into an arts venue. But for now, he's staging an event which uses light and choral music to recreate a spiritual atmosphere within this once holy space. It's way beyond what you would call a normal light show. It's picking up on the beautiful quality of the chapel, which I think for everyone who did actually live and learn here in the 60s and 70s is what they remember. Canon Peter McBride was one of the last priests to train here before the seminary closed in 1980. What's it like coming back here? The first word that comes to my mind is strange. Um, there's something familiar about it, um, but at the same time it's unrecognisable. The real blessing was the setting. What do you remember about the masses that were held here? When it was filled, it was a wonderful experience. The priests came up a ramp, and as they came up the ramp, the light really hit. So the procession was really quite something. The longer I stand here, the more I'm just feeling very much at home and very much... Yeah, this is part of my journey. Tonight, 36 years after falling numbers forced the building to close, Canna McBride joins the audience to experience St Peter's in a completely new light. The word that comes to my mind is bizarre. It's a strange... I think for me personally, I feel it's almost an invasion of my life. However, the experience of being here is, is good. Yeah. It's very, very good. And what do the rest of the audience think of the show? I thought it was pretty amazing. I thought the atmosphere was really excellent. The lights put a great spin on the architecture, which is beautiful in itself. The organisers have ambitious plans for St Peter's as a cultural venue. It may be past its prime, but there's life in the old building yet. Well, thank you, Carrie. And some good news, it was announced yesterday that the Heritage Lottery Fund is back in the restoration project.